What's up everybody? It's Lawrence again and today we have an exciting shoe. It is a one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic Adidas shoes outside of the Stan Smith and that is the Samba today to review. And the Samba was actually released in the 1950s as an indoor soccer shoe. So with that said, here is the Samba RM. So recently adidas has started naming things with rm in them saying that it's a model with boost i don't know what rm stands for so if you can put that in the comments below appreciate it so i don't have to seem like a dumbass the next time i do a video but let's start with the upper like we always do the samba is a very simple shoot extremely low profile looks like a shark super sleek it has a gat like front over here done in a suede and that gat like a german army trainer front uh is has stitching all throughout that you can kind of somewhat see then you have the leather panels which go from the front toe area back to the the rest of the shoe it is very really nice soft supple leather i'm actually kind of impressed by the leather used on this specific shoe because typically i would say that uh, adidas leather and and really honestly nike leather and everyone else that leather really kind of just sucks uh so it's really good leather and you have your typical samba stitching that is done over here with kind of the the ravioli like edges uh, that's also done in a black, so instead of a contrasting color, it's very simple and sleek. Um, there's also some stitching over here done in the front, if you can see that, but that's also done in a black. Going over to the top of the shoe, you have flat style lacing, much like your regular Samba. What is interesting is the tongue is made out of this soft material. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's super, super soft and sleek to the touch. I do like that. I wish they kind of put more of it throughout the shoe. And at the very top of it, you have a tongue that is done in a suede. And the final, the biggest departure from the normal Samba is this kind of stamped on logo that's done in a gold that says Adidas Samba, but it says S4M3A, which honestly, it's obviously appealing to millennials. I don't know why it's done that way. <laughs> uh, going to the back of the shoe, you will have the suede piece. It's uh, exactly the same material that's done in the front. This reminds me of very much like kind of the um, Pharrell base collaborations where they have a, a very similar kind of pattern on the back for the shoe. Going over to the midsole, which is why this is even a re-release. Uh, going to the bottom, it has bits and pieces of the Samba outsole, but it's mainly done in a boost. And you can see that through here, through that little hole, as well as some of the kind of triangles that are over there in the front. But it's a, it's a pretty thick uh, outsole, which I thought was interesting. Uh, and then the boost itself is this pretty typical boost, and so that's all throughout, and, and that's uh, that's what really rounds out the shoe. So what are my thoughts on this shoe? I'm a little disappointed in the Samba itself. The, the upper material is actually really good, and I, I kind of expected these to be a lot worse uh, at the price point that it's at. I believe I bought these for, let me check real quick, uh, $120, um, and if you look at a lot of Adidas shoes at $120, it comes from some really bad materials. And so from upper perspective, I think this is a, this is really good quality for Adidas. Um, quality control overall is good. I don't see really glue anywhere and the stitching looks really great. Where this shoe is not the greatest for me is when it comes down to the midsole. Um, I don't know what it is, but, but the, the material in the, in the outsole for this or the cage for the, for the boost, it's like, it like, it like dampens everything. You can't really feel the boost, which I think is interesting. So underfoot, you can definitely feel it, but you, as you're walking, you really can't. Um, and it feels like there's space between the um, the boost and the actual outsole and the caging that's in it. So I, I don't know, there's something about it. It feels really airy on the inside. Maybe that was done on purpose, but, but either way, I don't really love that. Um, and so maybe the next iteration of it, they can either make this midsole a lot thinner with the with the caging so that you can actually feel the boost more i just don't feel the energy return I, I wouldn't say that this is a huge upgrade in terms of comfort than your typical samba uh and i specifically tried on a samba not for long but, but for a couple minutes uh walking around with it at the store yesterday before picking these up so that i would actually have some type of comparison from a style perspective i think they're okay i i, I typically love blue icy soles but for whatever reason this this doesn't do it for me I would have preferred Samba or Adidas to have made this actually the, the kind of dark gum color. It doesn't do enough to, to look retro and it doesn't do, en do enough to look futuristic looking. 
So it's just kind of in the middle. It's not a bad looking shoe by any means though. It's just not for me. Finally on sizing, I would definitely go true to size. Uh, there's a little bit of room. It's actually a little wider than I kind of expected. So when I was trying on both the, um, the Samba regular versus the Samba Boost, um, the Boost actually is, is definitely wider, but I would say that still, this is not a wide foot shoe. Um, if you need to wear these for whatever reason, I would definitely go half size up if you're a wide footer. But for everyone else, true to size would be more than good enough for most people. And that's it, guys. This is the Samba RM, done in a black and icy blue sole. Until next time, peace.